What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pixar. Today we're gonna be trying out something that was an Ark aberration, but it's actually in Pixar as well. So guys, I've leveled up to level 24, which has added a whole bunch of new things for us to check out, including copper tools and a few other things in the metallurgy. I'm just gonna say it wrong every time. Uh, Engram. Oh, an Onik? Hello. I don't want to attack it in case it's extra strong. Let's try to grab our Pteranodon that we tamed in the last episode. And take it out. Remember guys, if you've missed any episodes, there is a playlist link in the description down below that you can access every single Pixar video that I've posted so far. So be sure to go and check that out. Also, if you guys are new here, press that big red button. Make sure you're notified whenever these videos go live by pressing the bell icon as well. Make sure it always- make sure it says always! There's also, uh, a th something that says occasional. Not sure why that's even an option on YouTube, but, you know, YouTube is YouTube. As it always has been. But, uh, yeah. So, today, I said that there was an aberration item inside Pixar, and there is. And this might be the first of many, I'm assuming. But there is a glider suit in the game. So we're actually gonna craft said glider suit. Uses leather, wood, and fiber. Pretty simple in order to craft it. And we're gonna see how good it is. I don't know if it, like, actually goes over, you know, like, our, our chest piece, like the previous game, or... I really have no idea how it works. Maybe it's an actual hand item? <gasps> Whoa, okay. So that's going to be pretty legit. All right, let's take our Pteranodon up. Up here real fast. I just crafted another one on accident. Oh, that's a Spectre Wolf. Avoid that, but that boy. At all costs. Didn't expect to get attacked by one of those. All right, we'll go up on the Snow Mountain. How about that? And we're going to whistle our Pteranodon to follow. On our way down. I think that's a pretty... This is a pretty safe spot. Doesn't seem like there's any specter wolves up here or anything. So we should be fine. Alright, so whistle you. Ha! Whee! Look at this, dude. Hell yeah, there's even like a little lantern on it. I can kind of tilt it and move it around, but not too much. And it's a, it's a one-time use? Oh god, I really shouldn't craft another one then. But I'm going to. So... I mean, one-time use? That's kind of cool. I could see that being, uh, something used, like, in, uh, like a scenario in PvP. You jump off a, a tall cliff and you just glide down. But I guess if you have flyers, it's not completely necessary. Alright, you're still following me. I want to go up higher. I'm gonna go up higher. That's what I want to do. Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Jeez, that was close. Don't knock me off, don't knock me off. Eh. Now we go! Aha! Can I tilt it up? I wanna like almost fly all the way to my house. So right now I'm pressing S in order to get a little bit higher. I don't know if it's actually working though. Whee! All right, so that's a pretty good distance. I'm not gonna lie. Now what I kinda wanna do is test and see if the parachutes will send us just as far. Right, because I know in Ark, we got the Primal Parachute. I should be able to craft one of those. In Ark, you can just jump off a cliff and parachute. It pretty much does the same thing that the glider just did for us. So I want to go ahead and try to see if this Primal Parachute will do the exact same thing that the glider did, or if it's just going to kind of bring us straight to the ground. So let's go give it another attempt. I'd love to get on top of that stack again. It looks like there's actually a Dire Wolf to the left there. Maybe we can tame one in the next episode. Looks like we're actually getting some spawns up here now, too. Avoid at all costs, dude. Look at them. They're evil. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the glider is pretty much like the new parachute. So, like, the parachute from Ark Survival Evolved, if you didn't know, you jump off a cliff and it would really, like, kind of go on a normal trajectory. And you'll just keep flying for quite a bit. A lot of people use it as a skill in Survival of the Fittest. They used to jump off a cliff and float for a while. Even if it's a small cliff, it still helped you float for a while. Now they've combated that. The parachute is purely 
just in case something shoots you out of like your bird and then you fall to the ground. And then that will help you fall safely. I don't know if a glider suit will activate if you're just falling straight down. There's really no way to test that unless I craft another glider suit and go up in the air and like jump off my Pteranodon to simulate getting shot out of it. I just don't have the materials to do that right now. But uh, that's cool. Okay, it's different. I enjoy that. I like when games add just, you know, a twist on it, even though it's kind of like a remake of already uh, a pre-existing game. It makes sense, though, because the parachute really shouldn't do that necessarily, unless obviously like wind catches your parachute. All right. So the next thing we wanted to do is actually check out the copper items in the game, which is something that I've been looking into because uh, this is obviously new to both games, Ark Survival Evolved and Pixar. So I'm going to grab the copper out of the fire real quick that I smelted during, I believe it was my live stream. Uh-oh. Random bat attack. I think my Toronodon's got it handled. I'm going to make sure he's following me so when he wins, he comes back down. Thank you, Toronodon. Alright. So we have the copper. Now, what do we need necessarily to craft the copper items? Well, first we got to learn them, of course. Ooh, a copper sword as well. Hopefully we can get to level 25 today and try out the copper stuff, like the copper sword and whatnot. So it's just wooden copper, requires engram stone pick. All right, so we can actually just craft this out of our inventory. Wood axe, wood pick. Doesn't seem like we can craft it out of our inventory, unless I'm just blind. We have stone, we have wood. Let's just type pick to make sure. All right, so it's not crafted in here. Where would it be crafted? Is it crafted in the smelter? That would be new. No, it's not crafted in the smelter. Is there like a workbench or something that I haven't learned in the primitive skill area? Hut, do it yourself. Let's keep on scrolling. We got clay windows, snowballs, wooden raft. Dino tracker, workbench. Ah, that's what we're going to need. So the workbench is going to allow us to craft a turtle shell shield, a blind arrow, a raptor claw. Wow. Flame feather costume and a dodicarus hammer, a big hammer made of the tail of a dodicarus. So we need to go kill a dodicarus to craft it. And for this, we need to kill a turtle to make the shield. Raptor claw, I'm assuming we need to kill a raptor. That's really, really cool. Okay, so like you actually want to hunt certain creatures. A poison arrow that inflicts blind and bleeding. I don't know if that's like the gland of, uh, like a, a dillo, maybe? And then this seems like, uh, you gotta kill an Argentavis for it. Huh. That's really awesome. So it kind of like is hunting items. You gotta hunt for them in order to, you know, you gotta, you gotta hunt the certain creatures in order to craft what you want to craft. So let's get a little bit of wood and it seems like we need clay. Where would I find clay? Maybe we can just find some clay on the side of, like, a mountain or a hill. That looks like clay. All of that looks like clay. Let's grab our Pteranodon. Can we just jump and grab him from here? Eh. Eh. Got him. Wonderful. All this stuff looks like clay. It's gotta be. I probably could have scanned it from afar at first. Oh, he doesn't like landing here, it doesn't seem like. Oh, and there's a spooky... Spooky boy over there. It looks like a skeleton of some sort. Which I've never fought before, and I don't plan on fighting. At least until I get that copper sword and shield. There we go. So we need five clay, which we have plenty of right here. I see a saurus. Ooh! We have a dolphin right there. I mean, it's not the best place to get a dolphin tame. Because there's not much of an ocean to go around right there. All right, let's make our way back up to our Pteranodon. Jumping on these bricks is not easy, by the way. It may seem so, but you have very little movement in the air in this game. There we go. All right, hop on. Head back down. We have some clay now. There we go. Let's head inside. What else did we need? I think I already got everything, unless we need a little bit more wood. Nope, we don't. We might need to expand our base, though. Look at that, it fits right here. 
So with that, we can go in here, weapons, and we have the Dodicarus tail, the Raptor claw. We have ammo, which is Dilophosaurus venom, which is what I thought it was. That's really awesome, though. I like that. So tools, copper, and then we have the two new copper tools. So I believe this is just going to make us gather quicker. I don't think it helps us gather more necessarily, but let's just go ahead and drop our old stone tools, right? And let's just replace them right here with our new copper ones. Whoa, look at that shiny. It kind of looks like the metal pick from Arc Survival Evolved, but obviously... Oh, it one hits flint. Oh, this is going to be wonderful for crafting arrows. So before it was like four hits to break flint. It did give us two flint per, per rock before, though. So it's nothing new with the actual gathering number. It's just a lot faster. I think it even swings faster, to be honest. You guys saw me gather a tree in this episode already. Look at this axe, though. It's like shimmering in the light. That's really awesome. I believe there's multiple different axes and stuff. I think you can get topaz axes later. Um, oh, now that we upgraded it, we're actually getting tree seeds. I've never gotten a tree seed before. And it seems like now that we upgraded, we actually can get more from the tree, such as tree seeds. I hit the trike. I hit the trike. I hit the trike. I hit the trike. Leave me alone, trike boy. Leave me alone, trike boy. No. No, 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 no. Ah. Gah. Leave me alone. I'm gonna lead it into this ditch if possible. Okay, he leave me alone. We're good. I don't mess with trikes yet. No, no, no. I have no plans on messing with any trikes. We're actually really close to leveling up. If we chop a few more trees, will we level up? Let me kill a few Fiomias to level us up real quick, because then we can get the Copper Sword and give that a try as well. There we go. Look at that. Level 25. 25. Oh, it also gathers leather a lot better, which is very important. But let's go ahead on in, and let's see what we got at 25. 25, we got a soil privilege marker. Yawn. But over here, we got copper gloves, copper armor. Copper sword is the one that I'm mainly looking forward to. Let's learn all of these, though. I don't believe I'm going to have enough copper uh, for crafting all of this stuff. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. Going up in health a little bit more. I'm going pretty tanky for this uh, single player playthrough. One thing that I forgot to mention is the game is forcing us off. Uh, at 10 a.m. the day before it's released, the 27th, uh, which is today. So in about two hours, I will not be able to play the game until it releases uh, for day one patches and whatnot. Um, which kind of stinks, because I can't get ahead. It kind of surprised me a little bit. I know I, I knew that they told me about a date and a time, but I just didn't listen. The usual. Um, but that being said, we are going to be losing our save. Which does stink a lot. We need more leather, it seems like. It does stink a lot that we're losing our save, but it's not a huge deal because we're going to be starting up our server uh, with the rest of the community members, the rest of the YouTuber friends and whatnot on the server with us. Because uh, we need to have some type of interaction with some other humans during this game. We can't play it alone. We wouldn't be able to take out all of the dinosaurs all by ourselves. It's just not humanly possible. I mean, it is, but just not necessarily all the time, like with every single creature and whatnot. Look at that cute little tree. Um, you know what I mean. We gotta play some multiplayer at some point. Alright, let's try out this copper sword. Hi, Dodo. Oh, I just sliced his head right off. Okay. What about a Dilophosaurus? Oh, he doesn't like it. He's also destroyed. I feel like melee damage is gonna be pretty important in this game. If there's swords and stuff gonna pwn everything in sight for all this. We need more leather so we can make more copper armor. I want to see what the full copper armor set looks like. What about a Packy? Its head is stronger than the rest of its body. But we can pretty much take him out no problem. Which is rather nice. What up, Dodo? Head slice. Oh, I missed. Oh no, it just didn't insta-kill him. The Copper Sword's not incredible, but like I said, if we go up in melee damage, I bet it would be. Seems like arrows are a bit stronger. Thanks for all the leather. That should help us craft up the rest of the Copper Armor. Because this Copper Armor does look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. 
One thing that they definitely need to fix is the water pouches. The water pouches are bugged in the game, it seems like. Oh, I just picked up my stupid leather armor that I don't want. When you die in this game, I know it's going to be a server setting, but you keep your hotbar and you keep your armor. It'll be a server setting down the line, of course, because if you keep your hotbar in like a PvP scenario, that'd be really, really dumb. Alright, so we have these two, and then we just got to do these three. So we actually had enough copper. It really wasn't that much copper. One cool thing is it actually crafts items from your inventory. So if the copper's in my inventory and the uh, leather's in my inventory, you're good to go. You don't need to like put it inside the smithy and then you get all confused with all, where all your gear has ended up, which is a cool addition to the game. So let's go ahead and put on the rest of the primitive copper armor. So look at us. We look pretty ridiculous because our hair sticks through, but I definitely think we look pretty awesome, not gonna lie. The copper armor is really, really cool looking. And like I said, down the line there's gonna be some higher level armors compared to copper. I did see some topaz ore, I saw some iron, I saw a few different things, so... That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's throw our leather boots into Narnia. Our little, our little dump over here. Boop, boop, boop. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, please leave a like on the video. I appreciate everybody swinging by. We're not ending quite yet, because I want to kill some more stuff. My dodo just killed the Fiomia, dude. Nice job. Give you a little bit of HP. Now you have 17. Good job. But, uh... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Not my intention for the whole game to implode when I killed that bunny right there. There's so many dodos and everything. I kind of want to go for a little floop about. I want to go fly around a little bit. Um, I might even go... What what level is the dire wolf saddle? Or is it just... It's coyote in this game, I think. Or wolf. Let's just type in saddle, shall we? Nothing there. Toronto on saddle, dodicarus, terrorbird, bezelbufo, shadow leopard, ankleo, hippocampus saddle, procoptodon... And it's not like it's in here anywhere. We can do... what is it? Coyote? Oh wait, I forget! No, direwolves and, uh, and Ark don't even have saddles. So I could technically just tame one of those. No problem. I don't know about no problem. I mean, we're probably gonna die in the process. But I think that might be what we're gonna do in the next episode. I think it might be. Let me go fly around up there real quick and just give it a quick investigation. Make sure that everything is nice and good and hunky-dory up there. I'm also announcing a P.O. Box soon, guys. So if you're artists out there, or you do paintings, or if you just want to send fan mail, look out for that video, because I'm redoing my office right now. And once my office is fully redone, I want to tell everybody about the P.O. Box. I want to start hanging some of your guys' art on my wall. Um, because I know a lot of you guys are very talented out there. So, like, what is that? Is that the boar that I keep thinking about, or is that the dire wolf? That's a dire wolf, level 49. That's a little too high for my blood. We could even tame the gorilla boy over here, because that's a passive tame, and he's level 12. Passive tame with berries would be relatively easy comparatively to a dire wolf. We've got to be careful of the dire wolf attacking us, though. We need to be careful of the cold as well. Sea spin! Wrecked. It's drawn on slightly faster than me. Get pwned. Thanks for the meat. Needed that. I haven't gone to see if it can go up in movement speed yet either. Kind of hope it can. That'd be nice. But I'm going to end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're either going to choose uh, the, the gorilla or the dire wolf. I feel like I'd rather see the gorilla and its mechanics in this game. Uh, before I do the direwolf, but at the same time, they're both pretty cool, and they both don't require saddles. I hope I'm just a high enough level to actually ride them. What are you doing down here, Patchy? Patchy, you're really stuck. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. You're, you're hardly doing it, but you're doing it. I might have to end up killing you if you're getting stuck inside my, uh, my little mine here. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like on the episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.